in China, a rising power in the world, with a population of over a billion, and one of the biggest trade sectors in the world, producing everything from shoes to cell phones. But it's a country shrouded in secrets and shadow. From the outside world, China is a happy place for all. But when you go under the surface, the Chinese government rule with an iron fist. The communism regime that they live by assures that no one will ever step out of place or even raise their voice. The government would like you to forget the years gone by and show that they're moving forward, but can they? June 4th, 1984 changed the world forever. We want freedom. We want to speak. 100,000 students gathered in the capital, Beijing, marching to Tiananmen Square, peacefully protesting the government's policies about freedom of speech and freedom of the press. But when the sun set on the 4th of June, there was a chilling silence. 7,000. When the government decided that they'd had enough of the pe peaceful protests and took up military action, one by one, Tanks began to roll into the square, surrounding the protesters. They had nowhere to go. This peaceful protest suddenly turned ugly. The students began to line up in front of the tanks to block the way, but the police had no problem using force to move the protesters. At first, beating them with the blunt ends of their guns, but this didn't last long when the beatings were losing effect and they, and they had turned to the extreme. next has been described in many ways. Clearing cattle, dropping like flies, genocide. On the 4th of June, the Chinese government opened fire on the protesters, shooting their only target, the people. Our liberty depends on the liberty of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost. But what if that's the case? What happens when your government can control everything you see and hear. The Chinese people asked this exact same question, and because of it, 7,000 people lost their lives at the hands of their government. The institution that is meant to protect them, look after them, and save them, but instead silenced a nation into submission. How far would your government go to silence you? Sitting here in this hall today, you have the freedom to say something, to speak. But millions around the world don't have this right. Speaking is taken for granted. China, Myanmar, Zimbabwe. These are places where speaking out against your government ends in swift military action. You sit here in the hall today and abuse a liberty that people your age died for. I'm not here to make you feel sorry for these people. I'm here to make you do something. Freedom of speech is a right that people deserve. And we, as the next world leaders, need to start now before it's too late. I'm standing here today in front of you, challenging you to take some action. You have the chance to make a change, to speak out where others can't. The question is, can you?
The Mercy Crew at St Catherine's College is a large group of students from years 9 to 13, led by our Year 13 students working with Amnesty International, Caritas and St Vincent de Paul for social justice. The group is heavily involved in helping the community in a variety of ways, and this year for Freedom Challenge we're focusing on the global issues that surround freedom of expression. It's an issue that many of our students are very passionate about. So on the 30th of July, we are going to spend the day without the ability to speak. As a group, we want to raise awareness and let people know that this is a serious issue which needs to be addressed. Mercy Crew allows us to challenge our energy into something that could be a part of changing the world and there is nothing stopping us from really making a great difference. Our liberty depends on the liberty of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost.